Business News Today, July 8, 2019. Welcome to Business News Today with the latest world business news headlines and stories. To keep updated with the latest news and insights, subscribe to the Bit Media channel and hit the bell notification. Now for the news, Apple leads down 150 points lower. Stocks fell on Monday, as losses in Apple shares pressured the broader tech sector. The Dow Jones Industrial Average traded 157 points lower, while the S&P 500 pulled back 0.5%. The Nasdaq Composite lagged, sliding more than 0.7%. Investors also braced for key testimony from the top Federal Reserve official later this week. Apple shares fell more than 1%. After an analyst at Rosenblatt Securities downgraded them to sell from neutral, CNBC reported that the analyst said the stock will face fundamental deterioration over the next 6 to 12 months as Apple's iPhone sales disappoint and growth in other products slows down. Other tech shares like NetApp and Juniper Networks also fell. Micron Technology Applied Materials and LAM Research traded lower as well. Deutsche Bank employees evacuate London office. Deutsche Bank employees were seen leaving its London offices on Monday, after the German lender announced its intent to cut 18,000 jobs by 2022, in a sweeping overhaul of its global business. Visibly disgruntled employees were seen leaving, some with A4 envelopes while a source with knowledge of the matter confirmed to CNBC that people were being asked on Monday morning to gather their belongings and leave the premises. The cuts are focused in the closure of the bank's global equities sales and trading business in a bid to improve profitability and are part of an effort to reduce global headcount to around 74,000 and cut adjusted costs by a quarter to 17 billion euros. Deutsche Bank employs around 7,000 people in London. India hopes making electric vehicles cheaper will get more people to buy them. India is pushing to become a global manufacturing hub for electric vehicles after the government offered financial incentives to spur demand and eased several regulatory restrictions. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman last Friday presented the country's new budget. The government is trying to create demand, to spur demand, and thus help original equipment manufacturers. Turkey's Erdogan fires central bank chief Murat Sıtınkaya. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has fired the governor of the central bank and replaced him with his deputy. No official reason was given for the sacking of Murat Sıtınkaya, who had held the position since April 2016. However, it comes amid reports of disagreements over interest rates, which the government wants to lower in a bid to boost the economic growth. The announcement has prompted renewed concern over the central bank's independence. Boeing loses big order for 7, 3, 7 MAX aircraft. Fly a deal, the low-cost Saudi Arabian airline, has cancelled an order for 30 Boeing 7, 3. 7 MAX aircraft. The decision follows the crashes of two 7, 3, 7 MAX jets, the first in Indonesia in October, followed by one in Ethiopia in March, which killed 346 people. Since then, the aircraft has been grounded, and Boeing has been working on a fix that will satisfy regulators. Boeing said that Fly a Deal had decided not to go ahead with the provisional order because of schedule requirements. The deal, which included an additional option to purchase 20 more 737 MAX aircraft, was worth $5.9 billion at list prices, but the airline would have been offered a discount on that price tag. Spider-Man Strikes Gold in Theaters Spider-Man Far From Home has hauled in nearly $600 million worldwide at the box office during its first 10 days in theaters. The Spider-Man film, starring Tom Holland, opened in the U.S. on Tuesday, 
and will take in an estimated $185 million domestically through Sunday. This is the best six-day record for Sony, who produced the film in partnership with Disney's Marvel Studios. Far From Home is also the best six-day opening for a Spider-Man film, and the best six-day opening for a film over the 4th of July holiday, the company said. Internationally, the film opened last weekend and has grossed $395 million. Thank you for listening to the Bit Media Business News today. To keep updated with the latest business news, subscribe and hit the bell notification. Thank you.